I'm going to talk a little bit about the flat keys in the circle of fourths and how you come up with all the names of the notes that make up a scale that have a flat key signature. We previously did all the sharp keys. They're on this side of the circle of fourths. So if we go this way now, sharps go this way, flats go this way. Okay? The key of F has one flat. And the first flat in the key of B, uh, the first flat in the key of F is B flat. B flat. And the reason I remember that is because B almost looks like a flat. Kind of looks like a flat. I mean, come on, looks like a flat. So the first flat is always B. In the key of F, if I write from F to F, and I add my one flat, I have the key of F. The next key is B flat. I'm just going to go ahead and write all the rest of the keys in so we can move along. So our next key is the key of B flat. B flat has two flats in it. And they are B, because B flat is the first flat, it looks like a flat, and the next one, E flat. B flat, and the next flat is E flat. There's your B flat scale, it has two flats. You actually see three flats, but B flat is here twice, so it only counts as one. The next key is E flat. Key of E flat has three flats. The first one is B flat. The next one is E flat, already done for me. And A flat is the next flat. B flat, E flat, A flat. There's your key. The next one is the key of A flat. I have four flats, and they are B flat, E flat. A flat, which is done, and D flat. There they are. One, two, three, four in the key of A flat. D flat is next. You're probably starting to get the hang of this. D flat. So I start with B flat. There's my D-flat scale. G-flat has six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. The last key is C flat, an harmonic equivalent of uh, B, B natural. So it has seven flats. And like I said with the key of C, which has zero, and the key of C sharp, which has seven, C flat has seven flats. So write out C to C and put a flat in front of everything, and that gives you all of the flats in every key, all the sharps in every key, and how to build a chord out of any one of those keys. Some people, I should note, call this the circle of fifths and not the circle of fourths. And that just depends on which direction you go. Um, because C to G is a fifth. C to F is a fourth. And they're really the same thing. So you can call it whatever you want. I prefer the circle of fourths. So, good luck.